fiesta. It's like the biggest summer party that you can imagine with the singers and the dancers and the outfits. It is really good. I mean, I've done it a bunch of times and I feel that I don't get enough. I want to continue going. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's your favorite Liz here with Xfinity, and I'm here today with Rosie McMichael. Hey Rosie, thanks for being here today with me and hanging out. Hi Liz, how are you? I'm so excited to be here with you today. <laughs> me too. I, I think a little more excited, but that's okay. We can, we can decide later. But <laughs> take turns. Exactly. For so many reasons. Yes, we're going to talk about Premios Juventud 2023, which, by the way, go live July 20th at 7 p.m. And you will be there for all of that excitement. Am I right? Yes. because this year is going to be in Puerto Rico, just like last year. So I think it's going to be like a different vibe. I don't know. It's going to be pretty exciting. I can't wait. I'm counting the days. But I'm also super excited to talk to you today. A little bit about you. I think that this is a really great opportunity for some of our Xfinity customers who may not necessarily know who you are, which where have you been, guys? Because <laughs> Rosie is awesome. So tell me, how did you get started and what does your day to day look like? Oh, wow. Well, my everyday, it's pretty interesting. I started over 13 years ago when uh, social media was not what it is today. So technically back in the day, I was just playing and to make a very long story short, it just snowballed. Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy les voy a dejar esta propuesta de maquillaje. My whole idea and plan was to have my baby in maybe two, three years and go back to teaching. And that never happened. That wasn't the plan. I started traveling with brands, taking brand deals. And then you know how it branched out. I started on YouTube and then went on Instagram. Right now we're on threads. We're pretty much everywhere. Yeah. And it became my hobby, my everyday life, my job, my everything combined into one single thing that keeps evolving. So it's been pretty fun. Wow. That's amazing. I just, I can't imagine as someone who still has a normal nine ish, normal nine to five ish, that lifestyle seems so glamorous, but I know that it takes a lot of hard work. Is it different for you being a Latina in this space? To me, it gave me an advantage because back in the day, we already had a, quite a few creators who were producing everything in English and in Spanish, it was a little bit more limited. Uh, I see it as a, as, as a blessing and I love to do everything Spanish, bilingual, Spanglish also. Unboxing time, o debería de decir unbagging time, porque de Ipsy nos ha llegado la glam bag. Y so I try to bring a little bit of everything to my audience. That's awesome, because I think so many of us can relate. Some words we find uh, the meaning just feels differently and it hits differently in Spanish than, than in English. So um, this is for all of our English speakers out there, um, regardless of whether you're Latina or not, because I think you will love Rosie's content for sure. Thank you. In preparation for our meeting today, I Googled you, right? Uh, <laughs> and so what I see is, it still considers you a makeup artist. Is that a true title? When someone asks you, what is it that you do? How do you describe yourself? I don't think I'm a makeup artist anymore. The whole thing started because I did go to school one summer. I wanted to do bridal makeup. When I got married, I got so inspired by the lady that went to my house and did my makeup. I wanted to learn the techniques and learn about products development and such. So I went to LA one summer and I went to school when I came back and actually that went very well. I mean, every weekend I was booked doing bridal makeup, bridal parties, but I felt that I was just doing the same thing over and over again, replicating my same looks. So mm -hmm. you can only modify so much, um, you know, using browns and neutrals, right? Right. <laughs> I wanted to do color. I wanted to do other things. And that's how I jumped into you, into YouTube. So back in the day, I was a makeup artist, but it's been 
probably I want to say like eight, nine years that I haven't touched another face because as this grew and I started to work with brands and travel, I will never forget the one time I had to cancel a bridal party because I had this huge opportunity. So that's when I, when I decided that I couldn't do this anymore because I couldn't be canceling on, on brides. So no, I will not consider myself a makeup artist because I will, it will be very disrespectful to the artists that to this day, they continue to do makeup on others. I'm more a content creator than a makeup artist. I love that. And so content creator sounds perfect. And I think a really nice segue into your involvement with Premios Juventud. Tell me about, you've been doing this for a couple of years now, right? I've been doing this for nine years. <laughs> oh my gosh. How is it? And does it, do you still get that same nervous energy that every do. year? Like, to me, it's a good thing, but when I do the step and repeat, and for people that don't know, the step and repeat, it's like the main area for pictures, and they have some circles or logos uh, on the ground, and you have like to technically step and repeat the pose like several mm -hmm. times, so each photographer can get the best angles, and you are like right in front of them. And I always look very serious in those pictures. And I always tell people that I'm not trying to look sexy. I'm not trying to look mysterious. I'm just trying to hide the fact that this cheek is shaking because I am so nervous. But I will not trade it for the world because I feel that's what keeps it exciting. And this year for me, it's even more exciting. And to be, again, in Puerto Rico and thinking about my dress and doing the behind the scenes and working with you guys, I am beyond excited. Like I'm, again, literally counting the days. Oh, I can't wait to watch it for sure. That is so exciting. So for those of our friends who have never seen the show Premios Juventud, how would you describe this event? It's a fiesta. It's like <laughs> the biggest summer party that you can imagine with the singers and the dancers and the outfits and the backgrounds and the whole the whole show it is really 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 good i mean i've done oh. a bunch of times and i feel that i don't get enough i want to continue going <laughs> I love that. And I'm so excited that you said that it was a fiesta because I was trying to decide how would I explain this to somebody who is not in, who doesn't speak Spanish, but knows that this now transcends culture, right? But it, it has the diversity in our entertainment and music and all forms of entertainment. It's just amazing. And I love that we are right there in the forefront, right behind the scenes on the red carpet, talking to everybody, all the stars. The red carpet is awesome. That's one of the parts that I enjoy the most because you get to see the first look of the outfit that you know for a fact that that took at least weeks to put together what they're going to wear and the hair and such and to be able to be there that's what I try to do uh, with my social media it's I try to bring in more uh, from the angle of like the Cinderella story I always present it like that because that's like actually how I feel they get to see it from the eyes of someone that was mopping the house the day before. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, I feel like I'm not, I'm not like celebrity, like this a huge names that you're going to see there. And it's going to be Puerto Rico. It's yeah. going to be human. But you're having so much fun. On. Let me retouch it. You, you just bring, you, you bring kind of like the human side of all these things. And I share those, uh, those sides that, Hey, everything, everybody's human. Everybody's having, having fun and enjoying the fiesta. And we're also sweaty. <laughs> Gracefully, though, beautifully. Yeah. We're just like glowing. <laughs> exactly. Well, yo me voy a maquillar and I'm going to sit in the sala and I cannot wait to join you in the fiesta with Univision on July 20th at 7 p.m. I'm so excited, Rosie, that we got a chance to talk. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and hanging out. Thank you Thank so you. much. the hottest party of the summer and express yourself. Premio Juventud, live from Puerto Rico, Thursday, July 20th at 7 on Univision.